Five dollars used to stretch it for days Robbing niggas trying to cop me some J's Mama said ain't nothing good in these streets Book smart, I was always unique What's good YouTube? It's your boy only one KDB and I'm back with another video. In today's video, bro, we got your side chick DJ Academics Destroy Brit 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 Britney Rent Renner. I think that's her name. Her name Britney Renner, ain't it? Yeah, I think that's that's it. I think I think I don't know. But anyway, bro, we finna we finna see, bro. DJ Academics said she was a side chick. I don't even know what a side chick is. I don't I know what a side chick is, but I don't know the full definition, bro. Can somebody explain that to me, bro? But anyway, we finna get to the video, bro. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, turn that pull notification bell. I just recorded a video. It was called, it was the um about the Travis Scott situation. But we finna get to the video, bro. Y'all boys ready? All right, back. Come on. So I have to start this video by giving a shout out to that man, DJ Academics. Right. The dude has been taking W's lately simply so on the DJ Academics, growing bro. success. Recently, he signed an exclusive deal with Spotify for his show, Off the Record. And when I saw he was interviewing Britney oh, Renner, I knew all hell was about to break he loose. Making big moves. For those of you who don't remember, Britney is the grown woman who preyed on college basketball player P.J. Washington during his time <laughs> at Kentucky <laughs> back in 2017. Why do you say he pray, so you she fast forward a few years and he's in the NBA doing well, but also simping for her while she traps him with a baby and then makes him look like an idiot online. But in her defense, PJ does a pretty good job of that himself. Wow. And during this eight minute segment of this interview, Academics does a good job of basically saying both of them are exactly who we thought they were. But they are who we thought they were. <laughs> <laughs> She's for the streets, and he's the idiot who is dumb enough to knock her up. We There's let him off the hook. Between Jay-Z and Beyonce, crickets. The age gap between Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan, age, it's, it's crickets. Y'all don't have the same energy. Lori Harvey's 24. I got the same energy. I know energy. this woman is not comparing herself and PJ Washington to Beyonce and Jay-Z. You know why no one gives a fuck about their age gap? Because they were both wildly successful before they got together. So obviously neither one was being right, used. Right, right, right. There was just no parasitic activity going on there. But with you guys on the other hand, he might be an all-star one day, and that's a big might be. And she's just a washed up chick in the industry who has slept with a lot of famous men and was looking to finally get a more permanent check. She was tired of receiving just a Birkin bag. When Diddy was with younger women, y'all have nothing to say with Who is Diddy? Harvey. It's fucking crickets. No, I'm gonna say people's names because everybody in this motherfucking industry is scared to open their mouth. But y'all pick and choose. And I don't get why she keeps comparing herself to people who are very successful for doing things outside of sleeping with someone else. This woman literally made a book about being a thought and how to empower yourself by taking men's souls. And it sounds to me like she's more <laughs> mad about her claim to fame than anything else. When in reality, she's the one who built this reputation. The worst people to deal with are the athletes. None of them use condoms, really. So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a manual, you could just an athlete. They're really dumb. <laughs> and if she was super rich and successful, no one would care that she preyed on PJ in this way. Because honestly, that would be a massive W for him. What she doesn't seem to understand Bruh. is that everyone else she's talking about didn't need those relationships for financial or social gain like she did. And they also didn't go around social media treating their baby daddy like shit and embarrassing him in front of the public, nor did they have a for the streets reputation. When she got wow. with this guy, he was 18 and she was looking like this. You can't give me a very long list of men saying they wouldn't be shooting up her club and saying they were in love. I know it I is would. easy to get lost in the sauce, my people. Even if you're 21, we're going to feel bad for you because you're we old. know what fame and influence <laughs> brings to someone. Especially with permanent decisions. Just dating, you can pass. But once you're having kids, you're getting married, of course, those are permanent decisions. It's just 100% facts. No one cares if they were dating. It's the more permanent decisions that really raised some eyebrows. And the fact that she was so quick to throw it all away when he seemed thrilled to be a father. Also, I don't really think people care about this age gap that she keeps talking about. It's more about how this whole relationship came to fruition and the fact that he was on her radar when he was only three months out of high school that really makes this particular situation look weird, so right? bad. I, I think we've all been there when we're with someone who we tell we'd have a kid with when in reality
reality, we both know it would be a total shit show. I would tell women that when neither of us even had a job. I remember this one girl told me she would have my baby, and three months later she was married to a dude in the military with a Camaro. People say <laughs> dumb shit when they're hooking up. And this is where academics really chose to pull back no punches. Yeah. As he just sets this whole shit on fire. I mean, you could tell he was really waiting to drop this absolute bombshell. I thought everybody else had your side chick, and he, listen, in a, in, a, in a male community, we know the chick that's like, oh, that's side chick pussy. And then and we, so know, we know the dumbass nigga who wipes up the side chick, and we're like, So what makes me a side chick? <laughs> because what, I'm beautiful? No, no, because what? the one who everybody fucks with doesn't wipe. That's a side chick. Sorry. You wrote a fucking book. He said sorry. Side chick, but I was never a side chick. Well, when you write well, a book about having casual sex, about. and by the way, now before. one of them claims you. We assume, you know what, we don't think we have a real girl. He sure do know how rain on the parade, don't he? Ooh, you know that one cut deep as fuck with some salt in the wound. And this is where I have to applaud DJ yeah. Academics because he's usually honest and over the years has really learned to keep that same energy in person when it comes to dealing with these people in the industry, Bro, even the when that fuck? has backfired on him at times and he's been made a joke of the internet. He absolutely destroyed both her and PJ because he's calling out the situation for what it really is. She knew it was time to catch out that Catcher's Mint was gathering some cobwebs, so she took what she could get. And PJ was just the dumb Dumbass with Come his on, fun PJ. songs going in day after day. There really is L, no bro. victim here in hold this it. situation there at this go. point. Just two clowns who came together to make a circus. Something that has <laughs> happened millions of times. But to finally hear her side of the story only makes her sound more diluted. You can't be talking about whose son is out here on the college campus and overall act like you're for the streets and then turn around and try and play the victim when people want to call you out for your stupid behavior. But let me know what you guys think about this latest chapter in the street saga down below. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video and subscribing. And if you did enjoy it, please go share it with a friend. As always, you know, there's some other crazy news out here that needs to get covered. So it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. All right, bro. If y'all enjoyed that video, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell. And we out of here, bro. Brit Britney Renner, whatever you is, you a side chick. I don't know who. I honestly didn't know who you was until they brought you up about the PJ, the PJ Tucker situation. I meant the PJ Washington, PJ Washington or PJ Tucker. I don't know which one it is. PJ Washington. I ain't know who Britney Renner was. I I still don't know who she is. I gotta look her up on Instagram and 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 and, and, and I don't know, bro. But obviously she made a book about. You know things, but <laughs> we finna get out of here, bro. Make sure y'all boys like the video. I'm tired right now. That's why my eyes so low. But we finna get out of here, bro. Make sure y'all boys like, share, subscribe, and I'm out of here, bro. I'm finna take a nap, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've been grinding all week. I've been grinding. I'm ready to spit a freestyle for y'all. Look, I've been grinding all week. I've been grinding all day. Reacting to videos, you know, I don't play. All the time, I react to the vids, and I go edit them. I ain't know what else to say, but I'm finna be out of here, bruh. Y'all boys, enjoy y'all best of y'all evening, slash night, slash day, slash whenever time it is. But we finna get out of here. Have a reason to cry. Funny moment that I'm torn at nine. Hunger, you can see the pain in my eyes. Fifteen, cracker gave me some time. Lost my brother, I was losing my mind. Fake love, left the niggas behind. Buying niggas used to sell.